When you design around energy per mile, what does that force us to give up and what does it help us gain? Super question, let's unpack that. What does it force us to give up? I don't see what it forces us to give up. It gains you a lot of things. The beauty of, and this is why timing is so important, if I go back to you know 2019 to current, We've got access to sensors and cameras and software and batteries and things that are allowing us to do all these things without relying on that older framework. So we can now do about 98% of what Aptera's original promise was. And we've enhanced it by, by the addition of solar. And it doesn't cost, like it's not some ridiculous metric of cost to add the solar. You need a panel anyway. It's not like they're heavier. And that, that's led to a whole you know, creation of intellectual property that's highly, highly valuable for the company. And there's a meaningful benefit out of that additional solar that it makes it worthwhile. But therein lies the design process. How much right. solar is enough? How much is too much? You know, we kind of, we went back and forth. It, cover the whole thing, have one really small area, you know, you, get, you have to balance those out. That's the fun 